Till America's oldest, unbroken treaty relationship is with Morocco, which was the first nation to recognize the U.S. The treaty was signed by Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Sultan Muhammad III. It has lasted 232 years and is called the Treaty of Friendship. Related Fun Fact The Anglo-Portuguese alliance ratified at the Treaty of Windsor in 1386 is the oldest alliance in the world that is still in force by politics, with the earliest treaty dating back to the Anglo-Portuguese Treaty of 1373. Ah that's nice. And then in 1784 Moroccan pirates seized Betsy, sad face, which was the reason the United States built their own navy. Our trade to Portugal, Spain, and the Mediterranean is annihilated unless we do something decisive. Tribute or war is the usual alternative of these pirates. If we yield the former, it will require sums which our people will feel. Why not begin a navy then and decide on war? We cannot begin in a better cause nor against a weaker foe. Thomas Jefferson So this is how the Mupish Consulate has come about. The American Embassy Museum in Tangier is very cool and touches on interesting developments in the relationship, including some dicey interactions during the American Civil War. Morocco, congrats on moving out, we should chill some time. The wiki article, and the title of this post, need to be updated as the treaty is still in existence therefore it should be 244 years not 232. Didn't the British by definition recognize the United States in the Treaty of Paris? I always wanted to visit Morocco. Grace Kelly, Beautiful Beaches, The Grand Prix, James Bond, Those Casinos. Morocco has some of the loveliest people you will ever meet, once you get out of big city centers with hyper-aggressive hagglers. The smells, the way time seemed to follow different rules, the food. It's one of the only places I have traveled that I would go as far to describe it as magical. The Sultanate of Morocco, that is. Yes, Muslims were the first to recognize the United States of America as a country. The Dutch were second, by the way. Also, reinforces the separation of church and state. As the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. Edit, thanks you slash Brendan Uwu, he pointed out that I got this mixed up with the Treaty of Tripoli, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash treaty underscore of underscore Tripoli. Fun fact, Moroccans, mostly, love Americans when the rest of the world is usually annoyed with us. If you go to Morocco as an American, you will be repeatedly informed of this fact. I can't count the number of times I heard AHH. Our countries are the oldest friends. BFFs for life. Crying in Native American. Morocco was a dope country to go to as an American, apparently American passport holders don't need a visa to travel to Morocco. I'm used to filling out some stupid visa application slip that the international flight attendants always hand out at the last minute and then giving it over when I land to someone in customs who doesn't give AF before presumably filing it away to God knows where. I don't recall getting one on my flight to Morocco, and when we landed and the PPL in line ahead of me and my girlfriend were getting scrutinized I started to get nervous with figuring out how to explain to the gate guard. I hand over my passport and before I can finish saying salam, the dude glances, sees it's American, hands it back to me and says welcome to Morocco. And calls the next person over. Also helps that the exchange rate is crazy good and everyone there is friendly AF, even if you don't speak Arabic or French. Air Morak was a great airline too, fuck. I wanna go back. Edit. Forgot the whole point of this story. I tried looking up Americans traveling to Morocco to see if there was a reason for the special exception because I've needed a visa, I believe what I'm thinking of is a travel declaration, in some form of fashion to travel to every other country I've been to as a tourist, Cuba, Jamaica, Italy, Iceland, and Mexico have shitty questionnaires you fill out on the plane and aren't actually visas. Nigeria had a whole goddamned process that took a week and was actually a visa. Morocco I just had to show up no form or anything required. Tough to get info now cause all travel searches pertain to COVID restrictions, 
but I'm pretty sure Morocco is lumped into the over 174 countries Americans can travel without a visa. Unrelated fact, Morocco has almost no oil. And while traveling through Morocco as an American, they are very proud of this fact and will remind you of it at every chance, they are such a welcoming people and the country is beautiful. In fact there is a Berber rug woven to look like American flag, up north somewhere, that we unfortunately couldn't view because of timing. You never forget your first. Rick's Cafe Americaine. Till indeed, so you're telling me Morocco has no oil. The Anishinaabe signed treaties too. Our nation-to-nation -nation treaties pre-settler contact are recorded in wampum belts. Unfortunately Canada decides to not honor their treaties. Tomorrow's headline, Trump learns of America's oldest unbroken treaty, unilaterally withdraws. Fun fact about this treaty was because Morocco had a different treaty with Britain to not pirate their ships recognizing the United States as a sovereign nation allowed Moroccan pirates access to American sea traffic. Don't tell Trump he'll fuck that up too. Some Americans, Israel is our closest ally. Morocco, yo, what the fuck. Love Morocco, the food, the music, the people. Thank you. Made my wife and I felt comfortable. Dude, what the hell are you doing? Ixnay on the oldest e-titra until after January 20th. You're gonna get this to think cancelled if Ronald Grump hears about it. Unbroken asterisk yet. My first year of college, I had to fulfill a history requirement, so I chose a course on the history of the Arab world. My professor was an ethnic Berber who emigrated from Morocco as an adult. The class started off like any college class, a couple people were super interested, but most of us were watching the clock. It was pretty evenly divided between students who had some ties to the Arab world, and us white kids who didn't want to just retake the history we'd learned in high school. Two weeks into class, September 11th happened. Classes got cancelled for a couple days, but the next time we had that class, he was so emotional. That was the first time I learned about the centuries-old relationship between our two countries, whereas to him it was practically sacred. He was genuinely heartbroken, not as some sort of apologist for Islam, but out of deep sympathy for our country. It was clear that before he had ever set foot on our soil, he felt a bond with us. It was something I had never felt and since that day have tried to foster and feel. Anyway, from that day forward the class kind of shifted to becoming a study about the relationship between the Arab world and the West. It was fascinating to learn that, for example, North African countries like Morocco view countries like Pakistan and Saudi Arabia as being nearly as foreign as we do, or at least, they did in 2001. It's easy to fall into thinking that the Arab world is one solid block that thinks and acts alike, but despite the efforts of some imams, nothing could be further from the truth, that first comma gave me a stroke. I've always been drawn to Morocco for some reason. It's because of the friendship treaty. Thanks Morocco. Muslims honor their deals. Also forbid usury. Morocco must not have much for natural resources if the U.S. is still friends with them and hasn't broken the treaty. Signed in 1786. Makes you question if it was written in Arabia or a different dialect or language back then. Fun fact, America's oldest diplomatic establishment in the world is located in Tangiers, Morocco. The building was gifted to the U.S. by the Sultan in 1821. https slash saving places org slash stories slash American history foreign soil Tangier American legation Morocco https colon slash slash saving places Org slash stories slash American history foreign soil Tangier American legation Morocco. Is this the oldest? The Swedish one is from 1783 which is three years before. The Treaty of Amity and Commerce was signed subsequently in 1783 between Benjamin Franklin and Swedish representative Gustav Philip Kreutz. And it is also active. HTTPS colon slash slash en. M. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash Sweden, United underscore states underscore relations.